Okay, so we are looking for the normal boiling point of a 2.7 ohm molar solution of KBR that has a density of 1.80 grams per milliliter. And we know so that we know that delta TB, this is our equation, equals I KB times molal. We know that, and that's the equation we're going to use. So we always want to start with what's our equation. And then we're going to add this to 100, whatever this number turns out to be, because we know we're dealing with boiling point. Now, the problem is this is not molal, it's molar, it's molarity. So we're going to have to change from molarity to molality, and that's going to be the bulk of the problem. All right, so we need to do that first. And then once we know molal, we know I is going to be 2, and we know what delta uh, KB is, so then we can figure it out. That'll be easy. So first of all, we have 2.70 moles of KBR, and that's going to be in 1,000 milliliters of solution. Um, but we need to know how many moles of KBR in a kilogram of water. So what I need to do first is change this to grams. So I need I have 119 grams KBR per one mole potassium bromide. And so this gives me 321 grams of potassium bromide in 1000 milliliters of total solution. Not, not water, but the whole solution, and that's the problem. So now I need to figure out how many grams of solution. So this, is, this gave me mass of solute. Okay, and now I'm going to figure out mass of the whole solution. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, 1,000 milliliters of solution, because that includes the 321 grams of KBR, and I'm going to multiply by the density, which is given as 1.80 grams solution over 1 milliliter of solution. And that will give me uh, one. 1,800 grams of solution, or with sig figs, 1.80 times 10 to the third grams solution. Okay, so now what I'm trying to find out is the mass of the water, because I need kilograms of water to figure out molality. Okay, so this is going to be mass of H2O, and that's going to be my 1800 grams of solution minus my 321 grams of potassium bromide and that's going to equal 1479 grams of water uh, we only have three digits to work with, so that's actually going to be uh, 1.48 times 10 to the third kilograms. Um, we can round off later. So our next step is going to be to find the molal concentration. Okay, so that's going to be the moles which is going to be the same as what we started with, 2.70 moles KBR and my kilograms of water, which is going to be 1.479 kilograms of water, converting that in my head. And that's going to work out to, now I have three digits, 1.83 molal or moles KBR per kilogram H2O. Now I can plug that back into my original equation, and it's going to be uh, 
much easier now. So again, the change in boiling temperature is going to equal I times KB times little m. So that's going to equal 2. My KB was given as uh, 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal times 1.83 molal. That cancels. And what I end up with is 1.87 degrees Celsius. That is going to be the increase. When we're dealing with boiling, it's always gonna, this number is always going to be added. So the new boiling point, we'll call that the normal because that's at one uh, atmosphere, um, is going to be 100, which is at the 100 degrees Celsius. That's where water normally boils plus this added factor due to the KBR. So um, that's going to be 101.87 degrees Celsius. That's going to be the boiling point of the solution.